Hello my darlings, welcome back. <clears throat> I think that might, oh my gosh, my voice is really high. Do you ever feel like when you first start talking in the mornings, your voice hasn't quite started working yet? That's how I feel today. I feel like I haven't spoken much yet today. Um, <clears throat> so this is my voice warm up, oh my goodness. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, today, well, I actually haven't vlogged. I haven't picked up the camera in four or five days. Hopefully, hopefully, you will have actually seen a video yesterday. That video included um, a paid for sponsored segment. So I had to wait for the brand to approve that. And I haven't quite got ahead of myself enough that I can put vlogs in while I'm waiting for a sponsored video to get approved. So um, yeah, not quite sure how I will manage that for future sponsored videos, but that was kind of the main reason why there was three days, four days without a video, because I am gonna try really hard to stick to the daily vlogs. I actually noticed on the days when I wasn't vlogging um, that I actually felt like I had less purpose, like I was really, really, really unproductive yesterday. Um, also, I think it's um, my diet. <laughs> you may have noticed in the last few videos, I think my dinners have included mac and cheese, chips, two pizzas, um, frozen pizza the next day, and then mac and cheese again. So that was basically five nights in a row where I only ate beige food, which is not ideal. And that obviously really impacts your energy levels. So I need to start eating a little bit better. And also, I think that when the weather changes, and I know so many people say this, but I really think that when the weather goes from sunny to miserable, my energy just plummets. And that's exactly what happened the last few days, but it's meant to be sunny again from tomorrow. <laughs> it's fairly bright today, but it is gray, so I'm just gonna try to battle my way through it. How nice does the light look, shining? up from the lamps, I think that looks so lovely. And I just realized that my top matches the cushions. Um, so what do I have to update you on, seeing as I've not vlogged in four days? This is why we do need daily vlogs, because actually there is a lot to update you on. So we now have the builders here for the coach house. As I mentioned in, I think it was the We've Been Keeping a Secret video, we are totally renovating the coach house. Um, with this house, the main house, we're not allowed to do anything major because it is listed. Whereas the coach house, there are no restrictions on, so we are unleashing our creativity there. I have decided what floor, well, I've decided what wooden floor we're gonna do in the downstairs area, but hopefully today I'm gonna be receiving some carpet samples because um, we found a company that's going to fit the carpet. I just haven't decided what carpet we're gonna do. So I thought I would share that process with you. Um, but the builders are in, they arrive at 7.30 in the mornings. It's their second day of work today. And I think today is the day that they are knocking down the lower level internal walls. So um, I might try and pop a screenshot of the floor plan here. Um, and basically the area highlighted in yellow, all of those walls, are gonna be knocked down. So when you walk in, it's just gonna be a really beautiful big entrance area, um, like a utility area. And I think it will just make it look a lot more spacious if there are no internal walls. So that's the plan. And we've also had um, some work, not work, we've had some tradesmen in the house here, in the main house, and we have had um, some things put up on walls. We've had some lights installed. So I thought I would go around and show you those updates. I don't think there's any updates in the main bedroom. I'm just going to quickly show you my outfit of the day. This is actually a new um, zip-up jumper that I ordered from Reese, and it perfectly matches my slippers, which is fantastic. I did also order the tracksuit bottoms, um, but they're actually a little bit big. I did order a size extra small, but they're quite big. I might show you them 
on later because I have been looking for a really nice smart matching casual set. So this is the top, it's kind of a little bit cropped which I quite like, got this zip detail which I think is really lovely, I've got it half up so that it just covers my t-shirt underneath and then I'm just wearing the H&M leggings with a little scallop detail so I've got scallops on the waistband I've got my little t-shirt tucked in but you can see they've got scallops there and I have to admit I'm at a bit of a loss with my hair at the moment my roots are about that big <laughs> so it's not um it's not looking its absolute best and it's quite frizzy I didn't blow dry it after my last shower so I've just scraped it all back but I did use some slightly different makeup and skincare products this morning so I'm going to quickly go through those with you. I'm currently using this tray from Zara Home um, just to spread out all of my makeup until our little unit arrives for here. We've ordered from made.com um, it's like a little like a mini chest of drawers but the lid comes up and there's a mirror in it and I think it'll be great for makeup storage but for now, all the bits that I'm using on a daily basis are just in this tray here. So this morning I tried this for the first time, the Great Day Glow SPF 30 Moisturiser from Neom. So it's all lovely and natural ingredients. Um, it actually says on the box all the different ingredients. So you've got minerals like zinc oxide in there, which I think is what gives you the SPF. Um, natural hyaluronic acid, turmeric root, wheat germ oil, aloe vera, shea butter, almond oil and oat powder. As well as rose, mandarin and peppermint essential oils. And I would say it felt like a really lovely lightweight moisturiser. It did give me a little bit of whiteness to begin with, which I think is because of the zinc oxide, um, but not as much as many other SPFs that I have used. And a really, really nice fragrance to it as well. So my Elizabeth Arden is very soon to run out. So great that I've got another daily moisturiser with SPF in it. If it's particularly sunny outside, of course, I will put on another SPF. The Elemis is really good, um, and the eye cream that I'm using at the moment also has SPF in it. This is the Sarah Chapman Eye Insurance SPF 30. It's got a little bit of tint to it, um, but it's good to have the eye area protected. Obviously, it's a really delicate area of skin. If I'm totally honest, I was a tiny, tiny bit disappointed with um, Charlotte's Magic Cream Light. It actually has SPF, I think, 20 in there as well, but it really did leave my skin almost with a blue glow to it. And I didn't love how my makeup sat on this. I do really love the original Magic Cream, um, but that was, that's not my favorite <laughs> moisturizer to use, I have to admit. I've still been loving, where is it, the Max Factor Second Skin Hybrid Foundation. I used that this morning, but I also received a really lovely blogger mail from NARS the other day. And it included, um, this is their Valata Matte Bronzer. It's quite a light bronze, um, but I've been applying that with my really fluffy hourglass brush and it's just absolutely gorgeous, really lovely natural colour. I've got another shade of that bronzer and then they also sent over this, which is just absolutely spectacular. I think for any summer holidays or really gorgeous balmy summer evenings when you want a little bit more of a glow to your bronzer, that's going to be absolutely stunning. Beautiful packaging. This is their Paradise Found Bronzing Powder. So lovely. Um, what else have I been enjoying? To be honest, a lot of what I use um, is actually in this Charlotte Tilbury palette. I've mentioned this quite a lot, but this has really been my like go-to palette for lockdown. That's really brilliant. It's the instant look in a palette. And the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish is really nice powder that I'm enjoying using at the moment. Um, and then just the usuals, my Bare Minerals. Ooh, major, major, major shout out to this. So I have been, I had been using Revitalash for absolutely ages, but I had to say it was kind of stinging my lash line a little bit. So I stopped using it on my lashes and I'm now only using it on my brows. And I switched to the Elizabeth Arden Prevage Clinical Lash and Brow in, oh, I didn't know you could do this on your brows. Lash and Brow Enhancing Serum. And I think I've been using this every day for maybe three or four weeks now, and my lashes have honestly never looked better. I've never been the kind of person that has naturally particularly full lashes. Um, I've previously always had lash extensions, I would say for the past maybe year and a half before lockdown. So they, they were looking a little bit worse for wear because I'd had the individual lash extensions on for so long. But I would say not only are my lashes back to pre-lash um, extension health, but they are so much better. And I have been using um, mostly, where is it? 
the Marc Jacobs mascara. This was also very kindly sent as a blog mail. This is the Blacker at Lashed, <laughs> strange name, mascara. And this combination, along with my eyelash curlers, is giving me the best natural lashes I think I have ever had. So bear in mind, <laughs> I've, as I said, I've never had really naturally full lashes and it is extremely unflattering to try and show you. But yeah, I am very pleased with how my lashes are at the moment. Ooh, so um, the electricians yesterday fitted our new light fittings in the bathroom and they look absolutely gorgeous. So obviously they're gold, whereas the fittings are still silver, but we are gonna be replacing the fittings or coating them soon. They look even better when they're turned on, I have to say. Um, but yeah, we've got one either side of each mirror. Let me see if the light will work. I think they look absolutely stunning. It just gives such a nice glow to this room. Whereas before we were just using these spotlights in the ceiling, but this is also a really nice light, just a lovely glow to do your makeup. Um, so really, really happy with those. They are from Jim Lawrence. And if you like these kind of house updates, make sure you are following Old House Our Home on Instagram because we always share these things as they're going in um, and lots of the details and swipe ups for the exact ones and things like that. Oh, and I was watching a YouTuber called Soph Does Life on my, um, on my phone this morning while I was doing my makeup. One of her videos came up in my recommended. It was called The Truthful YouTuber Tag. It was very entertaining. And she does this thing in her videos where she asks her audience to send in a hashtag question of the day and then she answers it at the end of each video and I thought I would do something similar so from now on I am going to answer one of your questions at the end of every single vlog so if you want your question answered let's put hashtag QOTD question of the day before within your comments um, and then I will choose one to answer. At the end of each vlog, I thought seeing as we get so many questions on various house things, that that would be a really good way of um, answering them. So that's the plan from now on. Leave your hashtag QOTD in the comments. Okay, so it's just gone 9 a.m. now, so I need to sit down at my laptop. I've got a few emails that came in from the US overnight that I need to deal with. Um, so let's start a productive day. Oh my goodness, I, also, I almost didn't fill you in on possibly the biggest change in the last few days. This actually happened um, yesterday. Well, I think you probably have already noticed <laughs> what is missing. So we decided, and I will explain why, um, to get rid of the island that used to be in the driveway. Lots of you saw it happening on the old house Instagram stories. <laughs> Can you see the dog? in the builder's truck. Bippy! She's so cute. Can you see little doggy in the window? Naturally, when I shared it on the stories that we were getting rid of the island, we had so many questions. Um, a lot of you were shocked and very sad that we were getting rid of the island. Um, so the reasons why, so there's, there's a few reasons why we decided to get rid of it. Number one is that the stone color that the island was made of was wrong. So this house is, I think it's, well, the stone doesn't necessarily have a name. Some may say it's Cotswold stone, some may say it's Haunton stone, um, but it's basically made of a very old kind of honey coloured stone. And then there's also a very, very old, probably Victorian red brick wall in what we call the walled garden. So you've got honey coloured stone and then you've got red brick walls and yet the island was made of a modern grey granite and granite um, it look it really did stand out as not fitting the vibe of the house it didn't fit in the garden it didn't fit in with the style of the house so the style of it um, we didn't love and the grey tone just really didn't fit in in that particular area. The era of the island, I guess you could say, didn't match the house. Um, second reason was because 
Because of the work we're doing at the coach house, we have a lot of kind of builders trucks going in and out and it did make it really hard to maneuver around the driveway. We're probably going to have to have a skip coming in, um, maybe even some kind of crane for the work that we're doing on the coach house and it was really hard to traverse around the island. Um, so that was reason number two to get rid of it now as opposed to waiting a little bit longer. And reason <laughs> number three. As much as it was quite a nice decorative feature, we felt that it was a little bit pretentious <laughs> to have an island on a driveway that is not a particularly humongous driveway. I think you guys would have seen um, from various vlog clips the size of our driveway. It's not like a really big country estate sweeping drive where there's going to be so much activity that you need a roundabout in order to sort out the cars and the traffic. It's just it wasn't really necessary so we have had it removed yesterday they drilled out all the concrete underneath it filled it in with more stones and you would never even know it was there they've done a really good job of um, making it look as though it was always just a big round driveway so yep this is what it looks like now and i think it looks so much better it honestly looks as though there was never anything there to begin with Oh, and one more thing, this is literally me distracting myself um, so I don't have to go downstairs and work, but I have decided that I'm gonna give TikTok a real go. I dabbled with it a little bit before we moved um, and then I really half-heartedly uploaded a few video clips with the hashtag cottagecore in the hope that that would somehow make me go viral, but I didn't create those clips for TikTok. They were part of the Ted Baker Instagram video that I did. Um, but over the last couple of days, I have joined two online workshops for TikTok. One of them was a reward style workshop and one of them was actually run by TikTok. It was a live webinar um, and they had people from the creative team at TikTok from the business team. They also had, I don't know what you'd call her, Instagrammer, content creator Leonie Hanna, previously known as Okachor, who is smashing the TikTok game. Um, she came on with her husband, Alex, and they were discussing how they got started on TikTok, how they um, create their TikToks, and both of those webinars really inspired me and made me think that actually it's not just for youngsters and I have to say I have found myself going to TikTok sometimes even before going to Instagram when I'm bored just having a little scroll through because it is so entertaining so I've decided that I am going to make a bit of an effort on TikTok I'm going to try to add to my workload to create a TikTok every day. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, um, but I am gonna try it. So keep, um, keep your eyes peeled for me making an absolute buffoon out of myself on an app that's designed for teenagers. Um, but yeah, I think they are seeing a lot more of an older demographic joining TikTok, myself included. So yeah, it's not gonna hurt to give it a go. So a little self plug, if you are on TikTok, um, my handle is the same as my Instagram, JosieLDN. If you want to see me making a complete fool out of myself, <laughs> then give me a follow on there. Okay, now I really have to stop um, vlogging and go and do some work. Hello again. So I'm suddenly wearing a different outfit, a very autumn winter outfit, because I just received a call from a couple of my London girlfriends that they decided to come to Soho Farmhouse and I'm gonna pop along and join them for lunch. So I've just very quickly popped an outfit together. It's due to just rain for the rest of the day and it's not particularly warm. So I've just popped on my And Other Stories coat, YSL bag, and this is totally overdressed, but um, haven't really seen my friends in such a long time that I thought I would dress up for the occasion. Um, my little ruffly blouse from Reese and my love them or hate them Burberry leggings. Kind of struggling with what footwear to wear. Um, haven't quite decided, but I need to go because they are almost there. So I shall see you at the farmhouse. <laughs> This is giving me all the inspo for our wildflower garden. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got poppies, some weeds, some daisies. We are in the greenhouse and we are identifying all the tropical plants. This is called the powder puff plant. It's so gorgeous. Back home again. Once again, I couldn't really film much because 
if any member of staff sees you with your phone out clearly taking a picture or obviously a camera um, you'll get very very told off so I think I managed to get some clips of the flowers but really really nice um, time with the girls at Soho Farmhouse um, we had coffee together in the main barn and then we took a little bike ride around the whole area so nice to just get some fresh air a little bit of exercise uh, we walked around the flower garden into the greenhouse and then we went for lunch at pen yen which is the kind of i think it's japanese restaurant so yummy and my taste buds were going crazy because i've not eaten anything like that since before lockdown um obviously home cooked meals and then we went to the golf club um place that one time and i just had what did i have souffle but nothing um like asian inspired at all in so long so that was absolutely scrumptious really good fun and um i got a bit emotional actually because i haven't seen them in so long back home now and there's been surprise surprise quite a few deliveries while i was out so i'm going to unbox them and show you what is here i've just made the mistake of half looking at my emails um considering i've not been on my phone all day yesterday i would say i had next to no important emails but typically the day that I'm out with my friends I get loads of important emails so now I feel like I need to sit down on my laptop for a good hour or so but I'm going to quickly show you um the bits that I've just unboxed so some of it is I hope you can hear me <laughs> all the way over here some of it is homeware that I ordered from H&M most excitingly and I love that this kind of old-fashioned vibe is coming back um in trend so i got a couple of these cushion covers i got two like this and two like this I'm not 100 percent sure where i'm going to put them maybe in the attic bedroom i'm going to take them up in a second but i need to order a couple more of the 50 by 50 centimeter cushion innards i did order some on amazon and they came the next day so um yes i've also just realized that you're going to be seeing this tomorrow which is the day after my um so her house cushion unboxing or haul i guess you could call it video is going live obviously i filmed that four or five days ago it had to go through the approvals um so you'll have only just seen it so i look like a crazy cushion lady which is yes just about sums me up i've bought more cushions than i have clothing in the last month um however i have also got an and other stories order here these things were very kindly gifted by the brand so this is a beautiful dress which i thought was just going to look so romantic it's like a white linen really subtle puff sleeve low v-neck crossover detail i just think it's going to look absolutely stunning um and then something else i saw on the website that i love the look of was this little dress so this is another white dress and yes i have so many but i just love them um quite a plain design aside from the ruffles on the shoulders and across the neckline and i think that's just going to be a really simple elegant summer's day dress if it's sunny tomorrow i think i'm going to wear that um, and then I also got two of these bolster cushions. I had these on my wish list when they had these in pink on H&M, but I'm really glad um, that I ended up getting gold ones. I would have ordered them in pink, but they sold out before I managed to check out. Um, but I think these will look really good in what we're calling the gold bedroom, which is the bedroom that Charlie and I were sleeping in before we moved into the master bedroom. So we've got two of those, and I think bolster cushions just add such a nice look to the room. Um, back to another stories I'm talking about a bit here. This pair of shoes I thought, thought, thought were very um, Bottega-esque. Let me show you a little bit more closely. So they've got this really unusual, um, like kind of, they almost look like they're inflatable shoes, but they're very on trend at the moment, but I would never buy a designer version of a pair of shoes like this because they are a little bit more trend-led. And yet I find that, I mean, they look so comfortable. Look at all that squidginess and a really good heel height. Um, the color looks really unappetizing on camera, but it's a lot more of like a warm caramel in real life. So I think that'll be really lovely and hopefully very comfortable. Um, oh, literally going back and forth like a crazy person. 
This is an H&M duvet set. And again, it's like, it's actually cotton, but it looks like linen. And it's got this really rough, um, I guess you could call it like a ruffle detail, but it looks almost unfinished. And I quite like that raw effect. So yeah, it is 100% cotton, but it's quite like a textured cotton. So I got that as a secondary set for the attic bedroom um, but also when we finally get the bed in the pink room I think that will look beautiful. I had a really lovely blogger mail from Aromatherapist, Aroma, Aromatherapy Associates, they have launched de-stress shower oils so it says a rich oil to milk body cleanser. They look absolutely gorgeous and they've sent four different flavors um so this one here is the rose one and then the de-stress calm and foam whereas that one says energy and uplift they look so nice i'm gonna use those later i think i'm gonna have a little bit of a pamper later i might even have a bath and they also sent a bluetooth um i think it's a shower speaker from anthropology apparently um yeah it's like a battery or bluetooth powered speaker but that looks really cool good for out in the garden um, and then finally, oh, well, actually, there's a couple of lamps here from H&M, but I'm going to wait and show you those when they're in the room. Uh, I was also very kindly sent um, a couple of glow products from Bare Minerals. Their bronzer, which I have tried before and I absolutely love, and their highlighter in the shade Free. And they very kindly sent um, some brushes to go along with it, but that looks absolutely stunning. Sorry, my camera is not focusing. Ooh. Can you see? Yes, that looks absolutely beautiful. So I'll be trying that out in the morning. Thank you, Bare Minerals. So that is today's loot. <laughs> I'm literally sat in a pile of cushions. Uh, so tomorrow, really excitingly, we have our usual photographer, Kat, is actually coming all the way to the Cotswolds to do some snapping with Charlie and I. Um, so we're hoping that the weather's gonna be good tomorrow. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is get a rail out and pop a few of my favourite dresses on there so I can take some really nice pics with Kat in the morning. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get ready for that. And it is the most miserable afternoon now. It's just that like continuous, really fine rain, which I dislike, obviously, but it just makes it feel really cosy inside. Hence why I've not taken off my coat, even though it is July. It's not cold at all. It's just one of those days that looks like you need a coat. But I am um, I'm going to set settle down with my laptop, answer my emails, and I'm going to pop um, the sinner on. So we're watching the third series. I say we're watching. I think Charlie has come to the end of his tether with it. It needs to be really exciting quite quickly for Charlie to like get gripped on a program, whereas I'm more willing to invest a little bit of time. And I think it's going to get, well, I think it's already good. Um, so I'm going to continue watching that half while I'm doing my emails. So yeah, I might go and pop, um, in fact, I'm going to go and pop on my Reese tracksuit bottoms just to show you the size of them because they are a little bit strange. Um, and then I'm going to put some other tracksuit bottoms on because I think sadly I'm going to have to send the Reese ones back because they are too big despite the fact that they are an extra small. Okay, hopefully the lighting is not too horrific because it is as grey as an elephant outside. It has been continuously raining for, well, all day. Um, fun fact, I've just wasted the whole of the last two hours since we last spoke. Um, I've wasted it on TikTok and I never thought that would be my afternoon. But yeah, I was doing emails um, and then while each page loaded, or like while a document uploaded to the email, I was checking TikTok and then I just went down a wormhole. But on the plus side, I distracted myself so much that I actually filmed two TikToks. So I'm very proud of myself. We're off to a good start here. Um, I want to try and film some more fashion ones because they were really quite um, basic, let's, <laughs> let's say. I didn't put too much effort into them. Anyway, um, mm, maybe I could film a TikTok now, trying on different outfits. Hmm. Maybe. Anyway, uh, so this is the first outfit from my And Other Stories delivery and I absolutely love it. It, <laughs> You guys know that I have such a problem um, with white dresses, but this one is just stunning. It is, it's under £100, which I think is pretty darn good for a dress of this substance and of this classic of the cla this classic <laughs> nature. So it's got a really subtle puff sleeve, but just enough to make a real 
um, statement. I think it looks really nice with just a simple pendant necklace. This is my one from Edge of Ember. It's got the tie around the waist, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And then this stunning ruffle detail which goes down. You've got the little ruffle on the sleeves as well. And then I've popped on the shoes and I love them 10 million times more on than I did when I was just holding them. I think you can get a better idea of the color here as well. They are ridiculously comfortable because they're like squishy and padded. They are so comfortable. My feet feel like they are being massaged. <laughs> um, I do need to paint my toenails because I think if you have your toes out in open-toed shoes, you have to have painted toenails. I think it's, I, I don't know, I just think personally my toenails look a bit gross when they're not painted. I mean, they're perfectly normal toenails, but yeah, personal preference. So I'm actually going to give myself a bit of a pedi later on paired with my latest straw bag. Um, I don't know if I told you, but I did actually order another Loewe basket bag from Netta Porter, but it hasn't arrived yet, but hopefully it will do tomorrow. Um, I need to check on the order status, but yeah, the dress is just gorgeous, classic. You've got the little tie at the back there. Um, I think this is just a gorgeous summer outfit. And once the weather improves, hopefully from tomorrow, I will be wearing this a lot. So this one is a little bit on the tight, tight side. Um, may need to swap for a larger size, but yeah, because it's a little bit clingy on the hips and tummy, and I do tend to bloat if I eat, um, well, anything with dairy and pasta, which is pretty much my entire diet. So, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look good if I just relax the old tummy muscles. Um, so I think I'm gonna swap this for a larger size, but I do think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a very nice slit, which is quite flattering. Um, yeah, it's just just the tum that personally I feel a little bit self-conscious of, and I know it's not um, that bad, but yeah, I personally feel like I'd be sucking in the whole time. Quite tight on the old booty as well. But if we ignore that, really nice neckline. Um, really nice neckline. I love the ruffles and the sleeves, and I love the overall silhouette. I just don't want it to be quite so clingy. And again, it looks really, really nice with the shoes. So those are all my end of the stories bits. Um, I did also randomly, this was Rosie Londoner inspired, make a jigsaw order. I haven't steamed this dress yet, um, but I'm just going to pop it on. So I wasn't sure at all um, how I would feel about this dress, but I absolutely love it. It's kind of one of those things that um, transcends the dress code. So it could be smart or cash. And yeah, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Definitely suitable for my circumstances where I live um, in the countryside, but I do want to dress up. And there are some places where I can dress up, like nice pubs, um, places like Soho Farmhouse, etc. And I feel like this is perfect. It's not too uh, like showy when it comes to being a dress because of the neutral colors and classic silhouette. And yet it's still really feminine um, and very much my style. So silhouette wise, you've got this smocking around the narrowest part of the waist, which I think is really flattering. I should probably wear a bra because it's quite loose around the bust area. So yes, I think a padded bra is needed here because it literally does look like um, something's missing, which it is. <laughs> and then lengthwise, it's a length that I personally love and find very elegant and timeless. Does it have pockets? Does it have pockets? No. <laughs> no pockets, but that's fine because I wouldn't actually use them. It's just for um, standing around. And we don't have the problem of um, having to hold our tummies in with this dress because even if I let it all out, it's fine. Um, we have got a little bit of elastic on the sleeves, but it's actually not tight enough um, that I can create a puffy sleeve because it's, yeah, it doesn't actually cling to my arm, but if I tuck it up over my elbow, then it gives a little bit of a puff sleeve effect. And then you've got a little V-neck. Um, and again, the shoes, they just look absolutely brilliant. And I think this bag is quite, um, quite a good classic one for summer. So yes, very, very happy with this. The only downside is that you have to put it on over your head, which I always find a little bit of a pain um, and not very ladylike, but the other two had zips, so you could step into it. I don't think this has a zip. No, I literally had to put this on over my head, which is the only downside, but I think it is really, really lovely.
And finally, um, I got this pair of pyjamas, which um, are just absolutely gorgeous, and I think they're 100% cotton, so they're gonna be nice and breathable. Excuse the um, mess behind me now. Oh, there's my slippers. I was wondering where they were. <laughs> It's really funny because on the model these were they almost looked like culottes like they were up here which i kind of wish they were because then you get a little bit more emphasis on the really lovely cut out lace kind of brodery detail um down at the bottom but they are very much full length on me i get asked my height quite a lot i think i'm around five four i'm not particularly tall um yeah i think i'm around five four but i i can't say that i've ever actually really measured myself um that's just based on friends and their heights but anyway so the um yeah pajamas are essential especially when you live in a slightly chilly house i have to say we've not um it has not been chilly the last like month or so but when we first moved in in april um and even in may it was pretty chilly but even in summer, if your pajamas are a natural material like cotton, then you're not gonna get too hot. So yeah, really, really nice for all year round, I would say. These are the smallest size, um, but they are quite roomy. So if you're wondering what size to get, then um, I would say either get your normal size if you want them to be pretty roomy or size down with these. They've got the same really lovely brodery detail here on the arms, which I think is so nice. And then they've got a really lovely pearl what's the word buttons so yes very happy with these um i need to have a clear out of pajamas because i have got so many really old pairs of pajamas some of which have got holes in them some of which are like teenager pajamas but i need to have more grown-up pajamas so i think these are really nice a little treat to myself so the end of the stories um pieces that i showed you were gifted but um these last two pieces that i've showed you were purchased by myself and i will leave everything linked down below in case you wanted any more details or wanted to shop anything sometimes i catch the reflection of these pajamas and i think they're flattering and then sometimes i think they are really unflattering can't quite decide um but i really like them and pajamas don't really need to be flattering they just need to be cozy and I love them and they do have pockets which is wonderful so I'm going to pop these clothes away now and I am going to have a little bit of a pamper evening I think as I mentioned Kat's coming over tomorrow to take some photos and I would like my skin to be looking good I would like my nails to be looking good I'm not going to do any color because I just haven't had color on my nails in so long but I'm just going to file them cuticles maybe a base coat Yes, but I am going to pop some nail varnish on my toes. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a pedicure. And I'm going to wash my hair. Sorry, I don't know why I'm telling you all of this. It's like one of those things where I'm trying to sort it out in my head. And so I'm vocalizing it. But actually, it's more for my benefit because I need to, like, organize my beauty routine in my own head. But yeah, I'm going to have a body shower after my face mask is completed. After it's been on for a certain amount of time. Um, and exfoliate and everything and shave. Um, ooh. Oh, that means I can't fake tan straight after shaving. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna exfoliate and shave, and then I'm gonna put an express tan on after my proper shower, including hair wash, tomorrow morning. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Cool, dry, juicy. my brace in and I have put watermelon oh my goodness hydrating patches all over my face um I've got to admit these are really strange I think I would rather it was just a normal sheet mask oh my goodness um but that is the end of this evening's pamper so I'm gonna bid you guys farewell oh my god these are so annoying <laughs> I'm gonna bid you good night and I will see you in tomorrow's video <laughs> bye bye